So uh, let's see here. I'm going to start by opening up solo mode with just a tire over here. So if you right click or use the hotkey S, you can open up solo mode on a specific part or parts. Uh, if you select multiple parts, it'll isolate those parts and you can edit all of them at the same time. Uh, solo mode is a great tool for working quickly. It, it doesn't interfere with existing workflow. So if you have something that you prefer uh, doing, you can still use it. Uh, this is something that's been useful for me just because I, I prefer using the solo mode workflow. Um, again, if you hit the hotkey S, that should pull you out. Um, and that's, that's another way to, to work with solo mode. If I go in here, I can select multiple parts, as I mentioned. I'll just select two random parts. And then we'll go to solo mode on those as well. And you can see that those parts are now isolated together because I want to work on both of those at the same time. Uh, and then this takes us into the move tool. So if I wanted to move my selection. So now, same, same move tool icon, the actual physical tool itself, but the, the, the actual movements between uh, your cursor and the part are significantly improved, even at steep camera angles. So like in this case, I'm just gonna grab that and I'm gonna pull it back and pull it forward. In previous versions, I would have had to take multiple attempts at pulling it and pushing it to get it to do that exact same thing. So huge improvement in, in its interface and how it works. Uh, I think that's great, especially when you're trying not to zoom in and out of your scene and just make things a little bit faster. Our move tool, we have our scale, our translate and our rotate icons instead of the check boxes. And now you have your position and advanced accordions as well. Uh, all the existing settings in the previous move tool are now under advanced, but you also have that position settings under the position accordion, which you can see over here as well. And if I make any adjustments here, you'll see it here. If I make any adjustments there, you'll see it here. Very useful. Um, it's a it's a nice little improvement for speeding up workflows. So that's it for solo mode and and the move tool. Uh, very straightforward, easy to use. I think it's going to help speed up everybody's workflows just a bit there. So definitely dive into that and, and play around with it. <laughs>